Hi and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to upload your website to a live web server so you can actually see the way your website is going to look live. Before we continue on um, with the final steps of setting up our CSS. Now if you don't have uh, a web server at this point um, don't worry about that you can just go ahead and move on to the next um, video. If um, you want to um, see how to set up um, your domain name and hosting account though um, go to my um, website um, the main uh, YouTube website from my channel here and you're going to see a playlist called how to publish your website and if you click on that you're going to see the very first two videos here part one domain registration and web hosting setup and part two uploading your website go ahead and watch those two videos and those will show you how to um, set up um, a domain and uh, web hosting but again um, you don't need to do that to complete um, this video series um, so consider this video and these videos um, to be optional um, but if you want to um, those are the two videos that you're going to go ahead um, and watch. So I'm going to come back in here to Dreamweaver and you can see I'm in um, my project right now and I'm going to go ahead and go to the site menu and select manage sites and all the different websites that you have set up inside of Dreamweaver to work with are going to be listed here. And you'll see the two that we've been working on, uh, the Manchester Project and there's our my first website that we worked with previously. I'm going to select Manchester Project here and then down here you're going to see a little pencil icon. Go ahead and click on that pencil icon and the site setup window is going to come up. And this should be familiar to you from um, one of the very first videos that we went through when we actually created our website. Over here to the left you're going to see a number of options and the one that we want to click on is servers. And right now you probably don't see anything at all in this window. So we're going to set up our server by clicking on the plus sign right here. When I do that the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and enter in the server name which can be anything at all. I'm just going to call it Timothy's server here. You can call it anything at all you want. The next thing you're going to do is set the connect using um, setting and that should be set to FTP. The next item that you want to put in is your FTP address which is normally going to be just your domain name. So in this case the domain name that I'm going to use is going to be www.timothywebsite.com and again if you want to know how to register a domain name and set up web hosting um, those other two videos that I referred to earlier will show you how to do that and then you need to enter in your FTP username and your FTP password that you chose when you set up your web hosting so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my enter in my username here and then I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my password the root directory should be blank and if I click down here under more options you're going to see use paths of FTP here that should be checked and the rest of these should be set up just like this right now and I actually should come back here root directory should be blank unless you're sharing the web hosting account with multiple websites. If you have multiple domain names that you're working with you're going to go ahead and put in the appropriate root directory but chances are you're not doing that so um, and if you only have one domain name on that hosting account that you set up again this should be blank right here. And then to make sure you set up everything correctly you're just going to click the test button right here. And it might take just a moment but eventually it should say Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully and you'll be able to click OK. If you got an error there 
you need to check to make sure you entered in your web address correctly right here and that you put in the correct username and password. Your username is not case sensitive, but your password is case sensitive. So you want to make sure that you enter those in correctly. And then once you, uh, you have gotten this message that you're able to connect to your web service successfully, you'll go ahead and click OK and then click Save and save one more time. If it brings up this warning to you, this is the cache needs to be recreated. That's great. Let's go ahead and click OK and then click Done to close that window. And now you should be back at your main project window. Now right now if I go to that domain name www.timothywebsite.com you're gonna see there's nothing here except for the placeholder page that in this case GoDaddy puts up for me. Well, let's go ahead now and let's upload our website. To upload your website what you're going to do is you're going to click right here on the top folder for your website where it says site and then whatever the name is for your site. Then you're going to see there's a down arrow button and an up arrow button here. Clicking the down arrow button will download an existing site from your web server to your account or to your site here. That isn't what we want to do. We want to upload what we have here to our website. So we're going to go ahead and click the up button. And when I click that, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to put the entire site? I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it's going to start uploading the files for me. And depending on the speed of your internet connection, this may take um, anywhere from a few seconds um, to a few minutes. And you can see the progress that um, we're making right now. It's just about done. And eventually that window is going to disappear. So now my website is uploaded. Now the name of my page that we've been working on here is actually main.html. So when I come back to my browser what I want to do is I want to type in the name of the domain name that I chose timothywebsite.com then type in a forward slash and the name of the page that I want to preview. In this case, main.html. And I'm going to hit enter. And there is my website live and on the internet. Later, we're going to see how to avoid having to type in a page name right here. But for this point, you'll see your page is up and live and you're now able to see how your design will actually look to a visitor um, that comes to your website. And again this step was entirely optional. Um, in the next step we're going to begin or in the next video we're going to begin to finalize all of our um, formatting for our design in CSS. So I'll see you in the next video.